Imagine waking up one morning and when you say good morning to your spouse, it comes out, good morning. This is exactly what happened to a man named Michael Bridge, a 59 year old American man who has never been to Eastern Europe and doesn't speak any other languages. Are there other things you were hoping to accomplish today? No, no. Um, uh, we, we have, uh, since he's come on, I have not been able to find any help. Okay. Uh, one doctor even told me, go away. Oh. Uh, he, he left the room. He, he walks in, he says, no, he says, what are you doing? Quit talking like this. And I said, I cannot talk with No, I want you to stop right now. I said, I cannot do this. And he goes, go away. And he walks out of the room and it's like, whoa, what is going on here? <laughs> and they never saw him again. Okay. And the reason the neurologist thought he was faking it was because his MRIs came back quote unquote, unremarkable, which meant they looked normal. But he really wasn't faking it. It's just that sometimes you can have damage to the areas of your brain that don't show up in brain scans because brain uh, MRIs generally only capture about 100,000 neurons per voxel. So anything that's smaller than a block of 100,000 damaged neurons is not going to show up on an MRI. And you need a bunch of those next to each other, really, before you they'd start looking like something besides artifacts. But the reason why I, when I was reading this paper, kind of immediately felt like he was not faking it is because he had a limp. He had kind of weakness on his right side of his body, which is controlled by your left hemisphere, which is also your language hemisphere. And it was also a motor problem. Another reason why I think this would be a difficult thing to fake, uh, unless you're a trained actor, it is very hard to consistently mispronounce the same phoneme. And and it wasn't like this guy actually had a specific accent. He It's just, if you consistently pronounce a sound wrong, it sounds like some sort of foreign accent. And if you, also if you change the emphasis of your words, that can also make it sound like you have a foreign accent, but it could just mean there's a malfunction in the network that produces prosody or rhythm in your speech. Unfortunately, they, you can't. we cannot fix things at the level of neurons that we can't even see yet, right? So what he did was speech therapy and physical therapy. And within five days of intensive speech and physical therapy, he was speaking 80% normal again. Usually say robot and sneezing. This has been very interesting because I think I'm a maybe a smaller percentage of patients that they see. Okay. Because I came in this week, I was prepared. I was, I mean, I, I read my notes. I read everybody's notes. I uh, been mentally, physically prepared. Um, I practice. After the session, I'm applying those things at night. I come in the next day for the next appointment. I'm ready to go. And so at times, I think yesterday, and I'm going to talk to them today, I was not challenged as much because one of them commented, wow, you know, you've made so much change. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes people don't even, can't even make that change in a week. Right. And you're making it in one session. We sent the recordings, the two recordings to one of the friends, and they came back and they said, welcome back. The fact that this is solved with speech therapy, which is a, something you do consciously you do it it's volitional you do it on purpose and it takes a lot of practice so the fact that that could fix his problem might make some people think that that means his problem must have been psychogenic in origin perhaps he was faking it would but i think that what actually happened here was more subtle he had to basically forge new neural pathways for forming the tongue and mouth shapes that it takes to make the r sound in english which is a weird sound uh, it's a difficult sound for a lot of people to do uh, because it requires this sort of paradoxical relaxed tongue that is scooped up a little bit and um, just slightly tense lips are. It's kind of amazing if you think about how complicated it is to make a single phoneme sound and fluent speakers of any language are constantly stringing them all together. His problem was not something he was doing on purpose. He was not deciding to make those sounds. In fact, it would be really, really hard to suddenly ha uh, be consistently sounding like you have a foreign accent. Mm -hmm.